Hi everyone, it's Amanda here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make shaker cards using coordinating dies. So that means basically that you make the window for the shaker using a die that coordinates with a stamp. In this case are these floral stamps that I really like. And you will also need acetate, foam, uh, something to put inside the shaker like sequins and also something to color. As you can see here, I'm using two card bases and two front panels. We're going to die cut the coordinating die on the front panel and we're going to do it first because this way we will be able to align the window we have created with this stamp. We are going to do all the stamping on the base panel, but as you can see, I'm using the front panel as a guide. I added fake stitching around the front panel and now we're going to close that window using the acetate. We always do that on the back of the panel and also on the back we will be adding the foam tape. I'm going to add two layers to make a nice house for the sequence.
So once everything is colored, it's time to add the sequence. And here I have to confess I made a mistake because I decided to add glitter and I really do not recommend it because it gets out of the, of the shaker and also because it got stuck on the window, on the inside of the window. So the sentiment was not very visible and I did not like that. So if I were you, I wouldn't do that. Uh, but I kind of managed to fix it in the end. I also made a mistake with the second card because I didn't like the sentiment I stamped on the front panel at all. So I ripped off the panel, I created a second one and then I went in a different direction with the sentiment. And I think in the end everything is more or less okay. And that's all for today, I hope you liked it. And I also wanted to let you know this is part of our blog hop. So if you want to participate in a giveaway and also see lots of inspiration, you can go over to my blog, the link is below the video and also below the video you will find all the supplies that I have used for these cards. Thank you so much for watching, here you have a couple more videos you might be interested in watching and also you can become a subscriber if you want. If you do so and even if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything I post. Have a wonderful day and see you again soon, bye!